We're the first with multimedia, and we've built this uh, tremendous multimedia studio here in Redwood City, spending $10 million on it. The reason we created the multimedia studio here inside Sega was to really create a total environment where all the various disciplines could come together and really work side by side to create the best possible gaming experience. It's very similar to the sort of early, maybe even heyday uh, of Hollywood, where everything from the art department to design to makeup to all of the production facilities and post-production facilities were under one roof. Jurassic Park is the first production of Sega's internal multimedia studio. This is a game, this is a product about dinosaurs. What we want to do is we want to create an, create an environment where people can see how these animals uh, behave and see how they will interact with humans when they're confronted with them. When we're creating a world, um, we'll start out by just getting our pencils out and start drawing uh, what the designers have set out for us. And as you can see here, I've got the four screens just drawn up. And um, we then scan these with just a, a conventional scanner onto a Macintosh. So we get our first look at it on the screen in a sort of a pencil form, a pencil rough. We also do um, animal animations, and we're using SGI machines, and we're um, using a very sophisticated uh, uh, animation tool, which does a 3D model. Essentially, you're looking at it as a camera would look like a, at a real space, and you're building objects in that space, and they're real 3D, so you can take a camera and go around it and really see it as a 3D object. We did some study on, on seeing what animals uh, move like today. For instance, um, ostriches are um, sort of distant relatives of dinosaurs according to the latest theory. We're seeing the, the environment unfold, the animals are starting to be, be there, and now we're giving them, you know, the programmers are giving them behaviors and, um, and actions and uh, reactions. Th I think that's the fun part. We do have a mechanism in the product to, to help people understand how the dinosaurs actually do behave. We've used a, a, a major paleontologist by the name of uh, Dr. Robert Bacher, who's come in and help us uh, to understand how the dinosaurs move, what kinds of behaviors the dinosaurs would incorporate. And Bacher is really an interesting character, and I think he'll really bring some, some flavor to the product. Triceratops had very strong legs. It could. No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. What's more important, acceleration or speed? Acceleration. Triceratops had very strong legs. It could accelerate in a charge right away and hit a top speed of 30 miles an hour. It's certainly something new to have live video incorporated in a game where the person is an authority on some object that's in the product. Sometimes the sampled sound effects libraries just wouldn't do it. So we had to go and get the sounds of real animals in a natural environment. One such place was the Okefenokee Swamp in Georgia, where I got real ambiences and real bird sounds and the sounds of real alligators. So I'm able to put the sample of a normal animal through all these different digital effects. And then we can take that sample and we can put it directly into the game and that can be our dinosaur. So it's, it's based on the sound of a real animal, and it sounds sort of like a real animal, but it's not. Music will play a big part in establishing the mood of the scene. If you think that everything is fine and you've taken care of all the dinosaurs in your area and the mood of the music changes to a more dramatic, um, foreboding kind of a theme, you know that your job is not done in that area and you better search and discover what else is in the environment that may attack you. From a three-dimensional standpoint, if we can move a sound around the player, you will be able to maybe get a sense that a dinosaur is traveling behind you and that you need to, f to turn and face that dinosaur. We want people to be able to sit in their living room with a, st a standard stereo pair of speakers and feel that they're in the middle of a jungle or a, or a windy desert. Sega, I think, is right on the edge. We are doing things with music and sound effects here that, that really have only been done in film and feature film. There are so many different opportunities, uh, and we have a good handle 
with the experience that we've that we've gained from working on Jurassic Park over the past year to really come up with some innovative ideas uh, for future products. Jurassic Park is just the beginning. 